Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the health and wellness spot. And today I want to talk about foods that uh, can help you clean your liver. So basically the liver is not like a dirty organ because one of its functions in our body is to detoxify chemicals and toxins from our body. As a matter of fact, uh, it is our body cleansing uh, organ. Not unless it is a fatty liver, because now uh, fat or fat cells are the ones that store toxins. So when you have a fatty liver, then you start storing toxins. So not unless your liver is fatty, uh, is when you'll say your liver needs a cleansing as such. So, accumulation of this fat and this toxin in the liver causes inflammation, and this inflammation causes scars. And these scars are the ones that we, in future, or later on in life, bring uh, liver problems like fibrosis, cirrhosis, and death of liver uh, cells and the liver at large. And remember, the liver is a, a very resilient organ. And therefore, it takes time before it dies completely. So it dies slowly. <clears throat> but again, even if a major portion of the liver has been affected by drugs, uh, food substances, and chemicals, it still can regenerate after some time or uh, when you you start practicing intermittent fasting and healthy keto diets then your liver detoxifies and uh, gets rid of the fat and the scars and it becomes it grows back to normal so that's a very interesting fact about the liver and since the liver is not a reservoir for toxins i will shift my attention today to the best foods for rejuvenation of the liver instead of Best foods to clean your liver will shift our attention to best foods that rejuvenate our liver. But first, let's talk about the liver uh, and its function in just a brief uh, 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 session. We already talked about, uh, in our first video, we talked about the liver in details and its function in details also. So you can watch our first video about the liver. But this one will be very brief. So functions of the liver include detoxification of chemicals and drugs. Uh, from the body and even food substances again it forms bile the liver is the home for bile in the gallbladder it forms bile now this bile is the one that is responsible for uh, absorption of and extraction of nutrients from fat so if you don't have bile it's hard for you to absorb fat so the fat that you consume will crystallize and when it crystallizes it forms what we call the gallstones and this is a condition of the liver uh, due to uh, insufficient production of bile or bile salts. <coughs> because remember, bile salts are the ones that sequester fats to help in absorption. Again, another function of the liver in involves uh, cholesterol, formation of cholesterol and cholesterol buffering. So apart from it forming cholesterol, it also buffers the levels of cholesterol. And this cholesterol is the one that is used in uh, maintenance of cell membranes, formation of hormones. And that's also another function of the liver, formation of hormones, which come from this cholesterol. So estrogen, uh, testosterone and cortisol which is a hormone that helps you adapt to stress these are the hormones that come from the liver and from cholesterol and then the another function of the liver is just clotting factors so it is involved in formation of proteins that help you uh, that augment also the function of vitamin k in blood clotting so basically those are the uh, it's just a, a brush through over the functions of the liver there are so many functions of the liver more than even 500 so many functions of the liver in the body and we cannot mention them in one video given that we already have another video that has all these functions. So take a look at it. So, now that those are the functions of the liver, we have, how do you know you have a, a, a problematic liver? Now, there's a, there, there are symptoms that come as a result of uh, a failing liver. So you start getting this itchiness uh, on the skin, and then you get jaundice. Jaundice is where the liver is unable to break down bilirubin. Okay, and this bilirubin, accumulates in your blood and then on your skin so your eyes become yellowish and your skin surface also becomes yellowish so that's a symptom of a failing liver already number three we have achy joints so most people who have uh, autoimmune conditions might confuse it with a liver problem because sometimes you start having this achy joints the arthritis and you think that this is your normal arthritis or your normal osteoarthritis and in real sense it is the dysfunctional liver so you need to do a liver function test to know if your liver is still functional and again you will only know if you have a problematic liver if your diet is messed up 
What do I mean by messed up? I mean if you're consuming more carbohydrates than any other sources of food like proteins and fat. Then again, nausea and vomiting, these are, these are symptoms for almost every condition. But in the liver, it's very uh, profound. It's very severe, nausea and vomiting. And also gallstones. Now, gallstones, we already mentioned uh, the bile. So if the liver is messed up, it doesn't produce bile, then again, you'll start crystallizing cholesterol to form these gallstones. And that is a symptom of liver problems. Okay, so basically those are the symptoms of uh, a fatty liver or a failing liver. So you'll understand now from this, you'll start to question if you're having a problem with the liver or it's just an autoimmune uh, condition. Now from this, now we can easily uh, maneuver to the foods that will help you, the best foods that will help you to detoxify the liver or to help you to clean the liver, the fat in the liver. And these are normal foods that we ignore, the normal uh, organic foods and uh, also uh, organic spices. Okay, So these are just the foods that we know we eat normally, but we tend to ignore the fact that these foods are very helpful and sometimes we tend to omit them from our diets. Now food number one is cruciferous vegetables. I keep insisting on cruciferous vegetables because cruciferous vegetables are the ones that contain enzymes that break down estrogen. Once they break down estrogen, you start burning fat. Remember, estrogen is a hormone that helps you accumulate fat. So if you start breaking it down and eliminating it, then you also start breaking down fat. The same happens to the hormone that is called insulin because the liver produces a hormone uh, that is called uh, insulin growth, growth-like factor. So that hormone is the same to growth hormone. And that hormone has a function to help you burn fat. Okay, so growth hormone and IGF help you to burn fat, but insulin helps you to store fat. So insulin and estrogen do the same work. So if you manage to lower your ins insulin and you also lower your uh, estrogen levels, then your fat content starts to go down. So we target lowering these two hormones. So cruciferous vegetables have uh, like broccoli, like kale and radish. These are foods that have enzymes that break down these hormones so that uh, you start losing your fat from the liver. Okay, and replacing this fat with healthy uh, substances. Now, again, cruciferous vegetables contain a chemical called sulforaphane. Mark that chemical. So this chemical has several functions in the liver. One is hepatoprotective, meaning it protects the cells of the liver. Number two, uh, it, uh, it is an anti-inflammatory agent. So basically, it, 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 it lowers the, 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 <clears throat> the chances of the liver getting inflammation and getting into scarring and cirrhosis in future. Again, this one detoxifies is the one that is responsible for uh, detoxification of caffeine, uh, drugs, and also uh, heavy metals, and even poisons. So this chemical is very important. The name is sulforaphane or sulforaphane. So this is a chemical that helps you uh, detoxify and uh, protect your liver cells from uh, injury. So vegetables and, and, uh, and salads are very important uh, for your liver detoxification. Again, if you want maximum uh, effect from these vegetables, you can add sprouts. So sprouts that come from broccoli, sprouts that come from uh, a kels, you can add them in your salad. And that helps you to increase the chances of these enzymes because sprouts, <coughs> sprouts have high uh, concentration of these enzymes. Do not overcook these vegetables. Why? If you overcook these vegetables, it means you're destroying the enzymes that are supposed to activate that chemical called sulforaphane. So do not overcook. That's why we say a maximum of three minutes uh, you get it out of your out of your jiko or out of the fire and start consuming it. So basically that is for cruciferous vegetables. Now, number two is garlic. Now garlic, we ignore it a lot. Garlic is a natural antibiotic. Why is it a natural antibiotic? It has high contents of sulfur. Now this sulfur acts as a detox in the liver. It cuts down fat in the liver. It also plays an antibiotic role. It has effects like anti-cancer effects. It also has high content of vitamin B1. For those people who are alcoholics, you can utilize garlic to start uh, wading off your effects of uh, addiction to alcohol. And then again, it stops or flushes out fat from the liver. So basically, you start getting out of your fatty liver condition. Okay. And then this uh, garlic has components that are anti-inflammatory. So apart from it having just high content of sulfur uh, that will cause detoxification and antibiotic effect, it also has components that 
reduce inflammation of the liver and therefore inhibit you from getting to liver cirrhosis in future because of consuming high content of carbohydrates and sugar. Now, number three, we have turmeric. Now, turmeric has a compound. The active uh, ingredient in turmeric is called curcumin. Again, I repeat, curcumin. So curcumin is the active uh, ingredient that is found in, in turmeric. And this curcumin is an inflammatory one. So it, 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 it prolongs or it inhibits you from going into liver cirrhosis and fibrosis and also cuts down fat uh, in the liver. So basically, these are the foods that I was mentioning that are supposed to help you at least adjust or rejuvenate your liver, if at all it's already a fatty liver. And then we have beets. Beets also have components that are uh, uh, anti-inflammatory. And again, it reduces the amount of liver enzymes. Sometimes the liver produces over, uh, uh, goes into overproduction of enzymes, and these enzymes can be toxic to the same liver. So beets, like beetroots, have uh, these enzymes that also, uh, or these compounds that regulate these liver enzymes and also reduce fat. Again, anti-inflammatory. So it also has an anti-inflammatory effect, which means fibrosis and cirrhosis are at lower. Then now, mushrooms. How many of us consume mushrooms? Rarely do we consume mushrooms, even uh, when we visit hotels and you're served by, with mushroom soup. Some of us ignore it even though that one is cooked or uh, fried in mushroom in, in seed oils which are highly inflammatory mushrooms are very important why because the liver has one uh, compound that helps it detoxify all other compounds be it food be it drugs be it chemicals and poisons so this compound is found in mushrooms and that compound is called glutathione so glutathione is high in mushrooms and avocado that's why I keep insisting for people to eat above. Uh, the only fruit that you should eat is avocado because it has high content of glutathione. And this glutathione is the one that is useful in detoxification of the liver. Okay? So high content of mushrooms and avocado will help you uh, rejuvenate your liver. Then finally, extra virgin olive oil. Now you can add a spoonful of extra virgin olive oil to your salad. Remember the first one you mentioned uh, salads in cruciferous vegetables. So you can add a spoonful of uh, you can sprinkle it with a spoonful of uh, extra virgin olive oil, which will help you reduce insulin uh, resistance. So basically, it will increase your chances of being insulin sensitive. Okay, so it will get you out of the metabolic syndrome. Then again, it will reduce inflammation. And finally, it will remove fat uh, from your liver. So basically, those are the, the foods that are very important for your uh, uh, clearance and uh, cleaning of the liver. And not necessarily a dirty liver but a liver that is already fatty and therefore has started to store chemicals that will be harmful to you in the future. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you learned something from it. Keep subscribing and we'll see you in the next.